You need to check out this amazing free AI video generator. Kling AI has officially released internationally and the quality is impressive. The consistency of detail of these videos and the ability to generate realistic motion is on the same level as anything else, if not better. What's really great about it though is the flexibility that Kling has. It generates a variety of different styles. It's good at animating your prompts and it's even better when using an image reference for image to video. And the best part is that it's completely free to try. I'll show you the basics of getting started with generating AI videos using Kling AI. But first, let's take a look at some of the videos I've been able to create with this model. Starting with this mech animation, look carefully at the small details and lines on it, and you'll notice there's almost no warping and distortion. It moves forward and turns its head, but everything looks realistic and 3D. Here are two lovers. The shadows, lighting, and movement in the scene all look dynamic. I've seen a lot of people creating eating videos with Kling, so I tried it out for myself, and it works better than anything else I've seen for this. There is an extra hamburger on the plate. I don't know if that happened in real life, but look at the fingers and the chewing motion. They look super accurate to me. To sign up, head to klingai.com. Check the description for links. You'll need to enter an email and pick a password. Kling sends you a verification email with a passcode in it. In the homepage, there's a gallery of the top videos and images created by other users. Right away, you see the quality. Zooming on a video to see the prompts and parameters used to generate them. You'll notice that a lot of these used an image reference. That's pretty typical. But you can get great results using just a text prompt. Let's start prompting using the AI video generator. There's two options of text to video and image to video. Starting with text to video, I'll enter the prompt, the silhouette of a woman playing a violin inside of a tunnel. There is backlighting. In the settings tab, we can use a slider to control creativity and relevance. The higher the slider is, the more the video follows the prompt, and the closer the slider is to creativity, the more freedom the video generator has to create what it wants. There are some options for generation mode and length. Although in the current early release, only high performance and 5 second videos are available. Then there's these options to change the aspect ratio from landscape to portrait or square. Below that is the option to adding a camera movement. I'll try zoom. This slider controls whether you're zooming in or zooming out. The gray box is the outline of the first frame and the teal box outlines the final frame. Beneath that, we can add a negative prompt while putting something like distort, disfigure, blurry, low res, warp, deform, words like that. This is what you don't want the video to generate. For me, the video is generated pretty quickly, maybe 2-3 to three minutes per video. It follows our prompt well, and the quality is solid. The camera motion is very strong though, so I'd recommend you turn the motion slider down. By the way, to download videos, click this downwards pointing arrow. Here are some more example prompts I used. This is the eating video I showed earlier. Really, really nice. A corgi going for a walk on the beach. It followed the prompt pretty closely. The keywords of beach, corgi, sunglasses, palm trees, and seashells are all in the video. Like I said, the camera motion is very strong. I should have turned that down in some of these. What's nice is that even with a ton of camera motion, the video stay consistent. I noticed much less deformation in clean videos than what I've seen in other AI generators. Now it's not all good. There are some issues. I tried to generate a Pixar style animation, but it looks more like a cheap game engine render. I need to do some more testing on animation styles. This was supposed to be a Studio Ghibli anime scene. It does follow my prompt, but the dragon stays completely still for most of the video, and only slightly tilts its head towards the end. Now let's get to the fun part and try out the image to video generator. In the image box, I'll start by uploading a retro anime picture. The prompt is optional. I'll just enter an anime animation of a woman. I'll leave the settings the same. There isn't a camera movement feature for image to video just yet. Then use the same negative prompt that I used for the text to video prompt earlier. I have to say, the anime style animations look pretty good so far based on the few videos I tried. I need to confirm how good it actually is, but I think there might be some real potential here. For this image of a cat, I guess AI thought it was supposed to be a wall decoration or something. So instead of generating an animation, it just zooms out a bit. For photorealistic images, it works really well as expected. 
The fine grain details are preserved, just like in Luma, and there isn't much warping or distortion. For some of them, I did see this fluttering effect. Pay attention to the flowers on his jacket. It kind of looks like some wind is blowing by. Here's a cool unique image I generated of the Day of the Dead to try and see what Kling comes up with. I got different results from different attempts. The one on the left has much more subtle motion, while the one on the right shows her gritting her teeth and moving her mouth around. I'll be testing out how to control videos using the prompt, so make sure to subscribe for that. Here are some other problems I found in Kling. Kling AI sometimes switches the scene in the middle of a video. It starts by animating the image, but switches to a totally different frame randomly. This didn't occur that often, but it is annoying when it happens. For this animation of a person's face, if you look closely at the eyelids, it does deform a bit, although the motion overall seems pretty good. When it works well, it works really well though, and there really wasn't that much warping or bad mistakes. Remember that this is still the early release, it's not even their highest quality model yet. Here are the video resolutions. It's low res for now, but they should be releasing high resolution options soon. So far, there isn't any subscription plan yet. You get 66 free credits per day, which is equal to 6 video generations. I'm definitely going to be keeping an eye on Kling AI. It seems like it's got a lot of potential, but we'll have to wait and see. In the meantime, if you want to take a look at another awesome AI video generator, go and take a look at this tutorial I made on Luma AI.